Welcome back guys. Working on the 500 again. So, I'll show you what we're getting into today. Electrical stuff. So, this guy, uh, ignition coil, the CDI, I believe those are the, the proper terminology, and the stator. So I got a new kit from uh, Regulator Rectifier. So there's the new stator, the new uh, CDI, and the new ignition coil there. And a new flywheel. It came with a new flywheel too. I don't know if you guys remember that old video, or the, the first video I put out on the bike had this little, uh, I don't even know what you call it, it's like a flywheel weight or damper maybe I think it helps it at low rpms just because it you know it provides it keeps a little momentum or inertia with the engine going but I don't really want to reuse that because it's just trashed man this thing is in bad shape so I just bought a uh, I got a regular nut and a washer these guys here and uh, that was an interesting thread pitch it was a m12 1.25 so, if you have one of these and you need a new nut, that's what it is. So yeah, let me get all this, and I took some pictures and a little bit of video just so I could see how all this stuff goes together. I have a pretty good idea of how it does go together on the new stuff. They sent some instructions which are pretty good, if you know what you're talking about, but I'm a little green on the dirt bike stuff as I mentioned, so I've been reading over these a few times. So we'll keep these handy. And yeah, I'm going to get the old stuff off, start putting the new stuff in. And I don't believe this is a direct bolt back in, if you know what I mean. It's not a direct fit. If you can, you can see what I mean there. So I may just use some zip ties for the moment. At least on one side. I think I'll get, maybe just get one in. That way I have my good ground. But I'm going to have to fashion some kind of bracket. It came with this little bracket here, but just I don't really see how that's going to work because there's nothing to mount those upper holes to or anything, you know? It's just an odd scenario. So I'm going to have to fashion something up. I'm still not 100% sure, but let me get this old stuff off and get it out of the way so I can see what I'm working with. Zip ties cut and all that. And uh, we'll get going. So we got the old stuff off. That actually went way faster than I imagined, but interestingly, this little, uh, I believe this is the CDI. That is just simply held on by this little rubber package right here. You know, that slides into a, uh, to this slot right here. You can see that, maybe. This guy right here, if it'll ever focus, there we go. And then this guy right here on the bottom. That little bottom piece goes in there, that little rectangular piece goes in there, and it just slides on there, and it's stayed for, since 1989. Amazing. But anyway, so we got the new stuff here, and what I did have to do was mark the, uh, so I took... You see on this piece here, I'm not sure how well you can see it, there's like a little dash right there where my fingernail is, right there. And that pretty much lines up with this guy here for the timing. So what the instructions told you to do is basically mark on here on the new one where you can see my little, uh, maybe you can see it, my little black mark right there. So as you can see, there's a little bit of adjustment in these holes here. So once you get your mark good for, you know, what it was, there's other ways to time it, but they're way more involved, and I'm not going to get into it in this video. Because um, I'm not an expert at that by any stretch of the imagination, so. The other thing was, it didn't come with a little grommet here. As you can see, that's a pretty big cutout, if you will, for those wires. So I just kind of, I cut the existing one up. You know, just cut the old wires out of it, and I'm going to reuse it. I'll tape it up once I get it in there. And then I may just, I don't know, I'm going to order a new one if I can find it. If not, I'll have to RTV this or something. It's kind of weird. But the case is kind of jacked up too. So I'm going to have to order a new case. So I'm looking, this thing's going to come apart anyway in the near future. 
so I'm not too worried about it for now. I just want to get it running, and then when I get the new case, I'll you know order a new grommet if I can find one and redo that or figure out a better solution. But for now, I just want to get this stuff in to make sure it works and uh, see if we can actually fire the bike up for the first time. I've never even heard the thing run, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff installed and take you guys along for the ride. guys so staters in the uh, ignition guys in I'm I just had this thing laying around so I just trimmed it up real quick to make a mount um, I'll redo that in the future depending on how this runs we'll see if I can get it to run right and stuff and actually ride the bike for a bit I think I'll redo that even this here a lot of this stuff I just got zip tied in there was just no real good way to mount this with bolts and screws without I mean I could probably make some custom little mount um but right now the, the name of the game is just to see if this actually works and I, I can actually get a spark out of this damn thing so that's the play here um i think we're about ready i just need to i want to pull the spark plug out and then uh just see if i actually get spark when i kick it now so stand by okay guys so i got the spark plug out and when i ground the little uh you know just ground it like that on the the little nut on the engine there and kick it over i actually do have spark it's really hard to show you on camera because it just doesn't show up well and it's kind of awkward i'm by myself right now so um you have to take my word for it it actually does spark so that it fixed the electrical system i could not tell you which piece it was um i tried a little bit of independent troubleshooting you know on the old stator and stuff tried metering some wires and things but i couldn't Based on what I was looking at on the internet and stuff, I couldn't really tell which exact piece was bad. But I went ahead and got the kit. A lot of the staters were close to 200 bucks anyway, and this one was like 289 for everything. So that's pretty much just a complete electrical overhaul. I just went ahead and did it. Um, but whatever was bad, we fixed it. And uh, so that's the Electrical System 101 CR500, at least to a degree. Maybe not 101, but... So maybe a little bit of a lesser class, <laughs> but it's a class of some sort nonetheless. So please continue to comment, like, and subscribe. That really helps us out. And the next thing to do is to get this thing buttoned back up, uh, get all the gas tank and all the radiators, the seat and everything back on and actually see if it'll fire up and maybe go for a little ride. So stay tuned.